So here we go, folks. Tag team time. And already we have a formula for fear here. Giant Haystacks and the menacing Drew McDonald facing up to Robbie Brookside and bomber Pat Roach. Anything can happen, and it probably will as we get this match underway. 30 minutes of wrestling, two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, or two disqualifications will decide the winning side. So it's Drew McDonald against Robbie Brookside to start us off. Drew McDonald from Perth in Scotland. The one-time Scots Guards, three years in the Scots Guards. So he turns his attention on professional wrestling. Great believer in the old adage, nothing exceeds like excess when it comes to wrestling. Super side headlock already. Certainly has plenty of power behind him. 20 stone plus of power from Scotland. A neat body check, and down goes Brookside. We first saw Brookside in the middle 80s. He didn't have quite so much hair in those days, and certainly long hair is a disadvantage in wrestling. Plenty for an opponent to pull. Super move from Robbie Brookside. This popular lad from Liverpool. And really wrenching that arm back there. Here we go. Posting early for Christmas. And out the way. Brookside, we've seen over the years, he's got better and better and better. And now we find in the early 90s, he has the honor of being the world heavy middleweight champion. A title he won when the legendary rollerball Mark Rocco retired. In 1991, Robbie Brookside took the crown, the new world heavy middleweight champion. Certainly needs all his speed and agility because he's in with much, much heavier men. Brookside just under 14 stone. We've got Drew McDonald at over 20. Pat Roach is about 21, 22. And Giant Haystacks, who we've yet to see in this match, weighing in at a colossal 43 stone. Four hump smashes and Drew McDonald doesn't know where he is. The invitation to tag is there, and he chooses not to accept it. And in comes the big man from Manchester. Six foot eleven, over forty stones of giant haystacks. Arguing with the crowd as always. Is absolute man mountain from Manchester, and again blindside tactics to the referee. Brian George is certainly going to have his work cut out in this match. And a fist straight to the stomach. We saw that here. But the referee round the other side of the ring arguing with Pat Roach. And again, punching not allowed in professional wrestling. You can use the flat of the hand, but not the fist. Pat 
Roach offering the tag. He's only inches away. Brookside can just get those fingers. We can see bomber Pat Roach in the ring for the first time in this match. Good night, Vienna. Out he goes. And really, the tactics of the Haystacks and McDonald's side are obviously pick on the lighter fella, pick on the small guy. Back comes McDonald. Follow through. Too late, not part of the same move. It has to be a continuous move. And the referee reprimands him quite rightly. There's a suplex, and straight up he goes. Brookside, we first saw a turn professional in January 1983. So there's a 10 years or so of experience there. I can't quite lift him. If Brooks, I can get the power, he has. And McDonald will certainly know all about that now. What's he up to now? Flying drop kick. And McDonald in a bit of trouble here. Put five. Just the counter two. Not quite the weight to keep him down, but he's going to have another go. Is this a good move? McDonald's surely wise to what's coming now. Yes, he is. Takes him and throws him. Star of Alfredo Zane Pet, Bomber Pat Roach. So now let's see what kind of medicine Pat Roach can hand out. Took part in the TV series to find the world's strongest man. Pat was in it. So he's a formidable foe for anybody. Six foot five, nearly 22 stones at Pat Roach. And another body check. And McDonald knew all about that. In comes Brookside. Uh, I can see McDonald tagging Haystack soon. He's going to need to because he's going to be in trouble otherwise. There it is. Giant haystacks, he's fought everywhere all around the world. A Spanish bull ring, a circus tent in Spain, an open air arena on the French Riviera. Oh! And 40 plus stone goes careering into that corner pad. And I doubt if Brookside's going to get up from that. Eight, nine, now that's it. He's out. Brookside failing to beat the count of 10. So it's the first score in favour, Drew McDonald and Giant Haystacks, and that means Pat Roach is on his own. He can choose to continue the match should he wish to, or forfeit it. Either way, it's now two against one. The first score to the big men from the red corner. So here we go, the second session. And Brookside limps back to the dressing room. So away we go again then. Almost 70 stones from one side of the ring against just over 20 on the others. It may seem unfair. That's just the way this match has happened to uh, work out in the end. Referee Brian George. 
sorting it out. The man who finishes one round or one score must continue. So it's got to be Giant Haystacks against Pat Roach. And trying the same tactics as worked against Robbie Brookside. And that foot straight across the throat. 40 stone plus of power coming down on the throat of the crowd. As you can see, they don't like this. When Haystack wrestles in Canada, they bill him as the Loch Ness Monster. And in comes Drew McDonald. Rob Kick nearly had him out the ring. Pat Roach can certainly look after himself, though. An ex-boxer, plenty of judo experience as well. And the knee drop straight to the base of the spine. Yes, indeed. Now, what kind of landing has Drew McDonald had outside the ring? Scramble to get back in for the referee's count of ten. Takes him up, pulls him down. A cover. One, two, and he's got it, yes. So that makes it all square. Equalizer to Pat Roach. Well, that's even the score a little bit now. As we enter the third session, we've got to go through it all again. There's a man who's not happy at all with that. Well, he's perfectly legal, no problem with that at all. Pat Roach was in fact a bodyguard on one occasion to Miss World, a Miss Brazil a few years back. And he needed a lot of power to knock him down. And outside interference there. There's the referee see that. And I think it's disqualified. It's one score apiece, so if anyone gets disqualified, it's the end of the match. There goes the bell. Yes, Brian George's actions are clear. I think he's, he's disqualified both men, so it's back to the dressing room. Drew McDonald disqualified for tripping from the outside. And Giant Haystack's back to the dressing room as well. Which means the winner of this match still in the ring, Bomber Pat Roach. And the man who's left it, Robbie Brookside. Roach. Haystack's not happy, but it's a win for Brookside and Roach in this tag match. And still the argument continues. I think Haystack is now challenging Pat Roach to a title match, because you may know these two have fought recently for the European Heavyweight Championship match. Belongs to Haystacks at the moment. But Pat Roach was the man on the losing side then. And I think there's a championship challenge. Haystacks, Haystacks, you are not worthy of a title championship match.